months here followed um, alongside my friend David Deutsch. We are going to be talking about the convergence of AI and creativity today, and I'm super excited to, to dive in see um, and see what comes of this conversation. But for those of you um, a part of the AI author community who may not be familiar with who David is, um, a little bit of background um, on David um, himself. David is a world-renowned direct response copywriter, marketer, strategist, author, and copywriting coach. In addition to creating winning promotions from scratch, he often works with clients and writers behind the scenes to turn underperforming promotions into winners. David started at Ogilvy and Mather on Madison Avenue, working with clients such as Merrill Lynch, General Foods, and American Express. He then switched to direct response marketing, where he's generated a billion dollars in sales for leading direct response marketers, entrepreneurs, and publishers, including Agora and Boardroom, which is now bottom line publications. And um, for these, these clients, he's has had as many as six winning controls at once. Very impressive. Um, David also supervises, coaches, and trains writers and copy teams both in the U.S. and around the world, including Germany, China, Singapore, England, Colombia, and Romania. And he is the creator <laughs> of the A-list copywriting. One second. Oh, super annoying to have your phone go off right in the middle of uh, interviewing somebody. Um, but he's also the creator of A-list copywriting secrets, um, in which he reveals the secrets that he has enabled him to sell over a billion dollars in his clients' products, author of Million Dollar Marketing Secrets, as well as Think Inside the Box, an acclaimed book on generating ideas. And he also has written a memory course and co-authored a guide to Bermuda. David, very impressive um, <laughs> um, career you've had and you know, super honored to be here with you today to talk about how, um, how you obviously are, as a, as a world-renowned copywriter, are in creator and have so much um, experience in this field um, using AI in your own business or also kind of how you're approaching the concept of AI. We're just on the forefront, really like the frontier, mm -hmm. it feels like of, of this new technology we were talking about before we went live here about kind of feels like the internet and what, like 99, like, oh my gosh, look at all, like, are people going to use this? What's, what's really going on with it? Um, I think the possibilities are really um, just at the tip of the iceberg. So um, like, welcome on. And uh, I'd love to just kind of get your take, like initially, like, where do you see like AI right now? And like, not only like where you're using it in your own business, but like, where are you kind of seeing, like, if you're seeing like kind of like the future, the next few years, like any, any thoughts on your end about where this is going? Is it going to take over the role of create, being creative of, of what copywriters are doing or kind of curious to, me, to hear your thoughts on that? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's great to be here. Great to be here talking. I always love talking to you because I learned so much about how to use AI uh, in terms of writing. So this is very exciting to be talking with you about AI and the potential for it. You know, I, f I feel like you said we're, we're, we're pioneers in a certain way. I feel like we're kind of when the internet was first coming out. I feel like when we're fa like when Facebook you know, first started and people were like, you know, you should really use this. It's, you know, it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's going to be every bit as amazing and as much of a tool as the internet became, as Facebook became. Because, you know, just, you know, I always tell the story of uh, a friend of mine, uh, Ofer Breyer. He used to say, David, you got to look into AI, you know, for writing. He's like, you got to look at doing amazing things. And he'd send me a sample of, of what AI had produced. And I would just laugh because it was just so bad and so silly, you know, an attempt at, at it. And then like a year later, he sent me some more stuff. And all of a sudden I, I wasn't laughing anymore. Like it wasn't great. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't A-list writing or anything, but the amount of improvement, you know, in just a year was so amazing. And now I see improvement, you know, every couple of months. Um, and, you know, there's a new GPT-4 is coming out and all sorts of things. So to me, that, that, that curve is just going to be exponential, you know, in terms of the future, in terms of improvement. But, but you know, even right now, I think I, I, look at, um, I look at AI kind of as not like it's going to substitute for me for writing or being creative, but I look at it as an assistant, right? I look at it as this, you know, almost like this, uh, 
you know, full-time assistant that I can just pay pennies that if I say, hey, you know, find out about this for me or come up with some ideas on this or give me some headline ideas for this, right? I mean, I don't care if, if it writes 10 headlines and five of them are bad, three of them are mediocre and only two are good, right? I've still got two pretty good headlines out of it. I may not use those headlines. I may not use those ideas, but they may they may stimulate me to have ideas kind of in that direction because it took me in a direction I wouldn't have gone in ordinarily. So I, yeah. I think there's, there's huge potential for using it in that way. If you look at it as a partner mm -hmm. um, rather than as a, you know, is this going to write for me? Is this going to substitute for me? Is this going to come up with ideas for me? Um, you know, is this going to replace me? Um, you know, it's, it's such a silly debate in a way because you're, you're always going to need the human factor, right? You know, you're always going to need the, the, the copywriter uh, overseeing it, overlooking it, interpreting it to add that human factor to it. But there's so much that can be done by the AI, you know, as you know, as you well know. It really does stimulate like, like the creative juices, right? It almost acts as a catalyst for helping you, you know, if anything, just see something from a different perspective or a different angle um, much faster and helping brainstorm through these different ideas to get like, they just latch onto that one idea that you can then grow and expand on um, and keep the, keep the ideas flowing from there. And, you know, I, I think yeah. some, one of the problems I, I think that people will run into when they start using it is they think that it's going to do everything for them, right? Like right. it's like, oh, this AI is just going to write this whole blog post for me, or it's just going to write this whole sales letter. But if you don't understand like the principles behind what makes these things work, you know, you're just going to end up with like average or mediocre content at best. Um, mm -hmm. and that's just kind of like what I've seen, but the people that really dig into understanding what drives the AI and like how it actually thinks and works and like the logic behind it and thinking more along those terms, then you can steer the ship a lot more effectively rather than, you know, hopping in a car and then not even knowing how to, how to drive it essentially. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot like that. A lot of times I think people have expectations of it doing something. Um, but it's, you know, it's an additive process, right? If you're, you know, if you're an eight as a writer, and, you know, you can get AI to help you and come up with ideas and to take you in directions you wouldn't have thought of. You know, it could add two points to that. You could be a 10 as a writer. Um, you know, when I teach creativity, a lot of how I teach creativity is that what you need, I can't remember what you, you said, um, prompts, right? Mm -hmm. Things to stimulate you when it comes to, you know, when it comes to creativity. Um, so I teach people to ask questions like, uh, well, what if you did the opposite or what if you, what if you reversed it? What if you added to it? What if you subtracted to it? How could that generate ideas? And AI kind of does that, right? It's, it's endless prompts. It's endless ways. It's endless catalysts. I think you use the word catalyst, right? It's a catalyst for your creativity. Um, I, th I think that's really the key thing because it takes you in directions that you wouldn't have thought of because first of all, it's read billions of pages of the internet and you haven't. So it's going to definitely take you in directions <laughs> you haven't thought of in that way. And also it doesn't have your habitual ways of thinking, right? It doesn't have your ego. It doesn't have your limitations. It doesn't have your, oh, I can do this. I can't do that, right? It's much freer in a certain way. Can you go into a little bit, maybe like more detail about like the ego attached with like writing in general, because something that I've, I've noticed and like myself included as, you know, coming from a copywriting background as well is like, there's, that's what you hang your hat on. If you are a professional copywriter, the words, these are your words and you're coming up with them and molding them in such a way mm -hmm. that are going to drive conversions, especially, you know, coming from a direct response background. Um, how have you seen, um, personally from your own experience, like using the AI and like maybe disconnecting yourself from some ego involved with it and just kind of working in partnership with it versus, you know, what, what some people might just totally discount AI and say like, no, this is going to completely ruin my craft um, versus the copywriters like yourself that are yeah. um, integrating it into their work. Well, you know, that's a very interesting thing. Cause I, 
I can almost feel a little bit of that, of, of, kind of <clears throat> being here talking about AI. There's a little bit of what are people going to think, right? You know, oh, David Deutsch is using AI for, for writing copy. Um, so you're right. That might be a consideration for some people, you know, that I, I don't need this. I don't need this help. I don't, you know, I'm not going to use uh, AI to write. But, you know, you, there's a lot of people, you know, a lot of writers and maybe John Benson being the most, uh, you know, the best example of people that are top, top writers, you know, that that are un, uh, what's the word, unembarrassingly using it, right? I mean, John's a great writer. John's written great VSLs. He doesn't need AI, right? He doesn't need um Jasper helping him, but you know he's glad for the help. It enables him to write more, write better, come up with you know ideas. Um, so I think yeah, maybe it is a little bit getting past, um, getting past that embarrassment that I don't need this. Yeah, I think maybe like the even just like taking things back whenever you feel like. You're like almost like it's your your shadow part or your 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 secret weapon that you don't want people to know about necessarily. And I told that's totally fine. Like you don't need right, to be public right. about about using it. I know lots of people who use Jasper inside of their own work are like probably not telling that their bosses that they're using Jasper to help them with some of the content because maybe you know, they might have some sort of um, thought or idea about like, oh, are you just like not doing the work or are you just being lazy with it? Or are you just like outsourcing it to an AI? Is your quality going to go down? Um, and I mean, I think that's a valid concern when you see the, the stamps like Google coming down and crack, like bringing down the hammer in some sense on um, mm -hmm. AI generated content. If you've seen that in the news lately, um, and I don't know all the details about, you know, ex all the, the nitty gritty about it, but um, you know, a problem with being able to just generate so much content so much quicker is if it's not going through like a higher level of quality control, if it's not passing certain standards, um, you're going to end up with a lot of bleh content, right? And yeah, I mean, you're right. It's kind of painted with a broad brush of people that just generate AI mm -hmm. content um, constantly, right? And just churn it out, whether that's a content company or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, Google is cracking down on that, which is why, as you say, you want to use it as, you know, you want it to go through you, right? You want to rekey it in, you want to, you know, either retype it. I mean, sometimes AI will write something and I'll just, I'll read it, right? And then I'll put it aside, right? So it'll kind of affect what I write, right? Because, okay, that was its take on it just like I was in the room with a person I was working with. And they said, you know, why don't we do something like this? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, so that that kind of, in, I'm not gonna take down in dictation exactly what they said, but it, but it, you know, it influences what I write. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It's, you know, um, there may be one thing in there, right? I may get a whole, a whole page from AI about, you know, about something. But there was one thing in there that it was like, wow, I wouldn't have thought to mention that. I'm going to mention that now in what I write. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and I, 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 yeah, I see that very similarly with myself too. You generate a paragraph or two and you say, okay, like that part's okay, but this sentence actually like really says it well. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to kind of continue to expand on it. Or that's taking me in a direction that I never would have thought to even go. Thanks, Jasper. Appreciate it. I'll take I'll take back over from here and then lean back in whenever it's time to brainstorm and generate some, maybe some more ideas to, to riff off of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes, of course, Jasper can riff off of what you write because you just put what you've written into Jasper. Um, Jarvis, uh, which one? I keep getting it mixed it's up. The, it is now Jasper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've, got, you've got it on the hat crossed out, but I can't quite see the crossing out. So every once in a while I look at it and I see Jarvis. Um, you can actually put what you've written, of course, into Jasper mm -hmm. and say, riff on this, Jasper, continue this for me. Um, and, um, you know, it, it's amazing, right? You can see where it, where it takes it. 
Yeah. And that's something we've actually been, you know, a lot, lot and like when we're talking with, with John Benson about this as well and like how powerful of a tool Jasper is, you know, all things considered, is that you can put, right? You said you can put content in, whether it's your content or maybe testimonials right. or reviews from a market you're researching and you're taking the top 10 testimonial reviews or feedback that people have about a specific problem they have that you go and do that research, you plug it into Jasper. And now Jasper knows all of that above it and it can take that and, and start writing out more and more content. And then you could start asking about different pain points. What are some benefits that people experience based on the content above? And now instead of, you know, you know, you being stuck at a wall with coming up with all right. the ways to, to write off of what you've now researched, Jasper is just super powering. Um, the, your ability to write content around that. And so I, I would love to kind of dive into Jasper a little bit and see kind of like in terms of like how you use it on your end, like as, you know, a professional copywriter and then explore maybe some other ways that we're, that you know, maybe we can, we can all learn something here, right? Like on top of this, we're talking about how do we integrate AI inside a process coming up with great ideas. Right, um, right. Can, we can you walk me through maybe an example of how, you you would use Jasper right now in your own um, process. Yeah, let me let me pick up on something you said though, because I mean that was huge that idea of taking testimonials and putting them into Jasper like that. Um, because I think if I understand correctly, what you're saying is you can take a whole bunch of testimonials and give, you know, put them in Jasper and it actually teaches Jasper the kinds of things that people say about this product or service. And then Jasper can then use that to generate content, ideas, headlines, copy, you know, whatever it is. I mean, that's, that's kind of mind blowing a little bit. I mean, yeah, you it, may take that for granted and say, well, yeah, that's what Jasper does, you know, but even to me, like I, I, I had never thought to do that to just take a bunch of testimonials, put them in there, and you're like training Jasper. Mm -hmm. Well, that, maybe maybe we could do that and like dive in and see how that actually like works. Like what- I would love you know, that. I would love that. Uh, is there a product maybe that you have in mind that, that would be a good one to, to pull for reference? I mean, we've done, you do physical products on Amazon, you do software products. Does anything come to mind? Um, you know, a lot of a lot of people I work with, they sell supplements of various kinds. Okay. They sell, you know, um, things that help with weight loss. They sell things that help with, you know, arthritis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is it maybe? Let me think. Let me see. Supplements, arthritis. Just go on Amazon because that's a great place to go and search around for reviews um, on products mm -hmm. like this. Maybe like, let's just do like a joint pain relief supplements. So you're saying the first thing to do is to go on to Amazon and pull some oh. reviews down. <laughs> I'm thinking this is like, this is maybe one way to do it, but I yeah. always like before maybe we just start with like a product and reviews is thinking like what might be a really like a, a useful outcome of doing some research like this, right? Like if you, if you as a copywriter have a supplement that you're maybe writing a, a piece for, mm -hmm. like you do research and then come up with a headline, um, sub headlines, right. You know, what, what other elements are there that we're, we're wanting to tackle, um, with something like this from like your process? Like what, what would you want in doing a, like a, a copywriting piece for, um, a supplement brand, like what would your outcome be, I guess? Yeah, certainly headline ideas, ways of, ways of, um, promoting it, um, marketing ideas. Sometimes I'll ask Jarvis for marketing ideas versus copywriting ideas. Um, Headlines would probably be something that it would be relatively easy for Jarvis to, uh, for Jasper to pull out from mm. testimonials. Cause a lot of times testimonials are kind of headlines. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and let's just, you know, yeah, take let's, a let's take a stab at it. Show people we'll... kind of what it looks like in the hands of someone that, you know, really oh, knows how to use it. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. 
Um, while I'm pulling this up, everyone here that's joining us live, I want to say thank you for being here live. Everyone here watching the replay, thank you as well. Um, drop a comment. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And um, what if you're using Jasper, what you use it for. If you're not using Jasper, um, maybe what caught your interest to, to join us here live um, today. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Yeah, we've because we've got a wide range of people on this, right? Mm -hmm. We've got people that have never heard of Jasper, never, you know, used AI. And then we've got people... Uh, from your world that that are more experienced with it. Yeah. So let me go here. So feel I'm free gonna... to ask questions. I'll, I'll try to follow some of the questions uh, in the live thing too, in the comments. Sure. So is there a product, like a very specific product that uh, might be a good example here? And you know, the supplement space is pretty much endless in terms of Yeah, supplement. someone just wrote, uh, how about a joint pain relief? You know, joint pain relief is always good. Okay. He's got a supplement. Uh, he or she has a supplement with uh, curcumin and ginger. Cool. So, okay, joint pain, joint pain relief supplements. Curcumin. Yeah. Uh, turmeric and ginger. Or turmeric. Yeah, turmeric and ginger. They're they're kind of the two biggies. They'll okay, probably let's... Do things. Let's just use this one as an example then. So let's say I wanted to like, create like maybe like a landing page for this on uh, just for a new product I have that's going to have this supplement with it. Um, you can, of course, take information right here like we were talking about and copy it directly into Jasper. Um, that might be a good place to start. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead yeah. and just like start filling mm -hmm. out some of this information just for like a basic content brief. And so... Um, for those of you um, watching right now, um, the way I approach boss mode and teach it inside of our um, to our students and our clients is uh, it all comes down to the context you're giving it. The better the context in, the better the outputs you will get from Jasper. Um, and the things that are going to impact that are going to be on the left hand side. I'm going to zoom in my screen here. Left hand side, you'll see the title, content, brief, tone of voice, and keywords. And so. This is what Jasper is going to reference alongside that 10% that it knows from downloading the entire internet um, or 10% of the internet anyways. Quite a lot of content. Um, but <clears throat> what Jasper now, can well, also do is see up to 3,000 characters above um, what it's going to be typing on. And so we'll get into more of that as well. Um, yeah. um, Darby, can I just, I, I just want to slow things down a little. Sure. Um, and especially for the people from my world mm -hmm. who may not be as familiar with um, Jasper, you know, the stuff on the left is just kind of giving it context, as you said, just kind of telling it, okay, what's the title of what we're doing? Give me a little description. Give me a little, you know, it's going to ask a couple of questions to fill in. And then it's going to ask for tone of voice, which is so cool because mm -hmm. you could tell it, um, I want it to be serious. I want it to be humorous. I want it to be light. Or you could say, I, I, I want to sound like Oprah or I want to sound like, you know, like crazy stuff. Right. You can a, a person, mm -hmm. you know, it can it can imitate the style of a person. Um, so that's kind of a cool, uh, a cool setting as well that you can and actually I, control that. And actually, let me back up even a step further from that, because I guess the, how do we get here in the first place? We just opened up this this big um, dark blank document and are about to generate a bunch of magical words from it. Um, this is boss mode inside of Jasper. And so Jasper actually has two account, two levels in it right now. If you're just um, getting familiar with the tool, starter plan and boss mode. Um, so boss mode is like generating long form content on a continuous um, level inside of your Jasper account. Um, you have a dashboard and everyone starter and boss mode gets access to these things called templates. And so these are what the team at Jasper and other contributors inside of the community have developed um, templates that are designed to generate um, specific sorts of outcomes for your copy. So if you wanted to just generate a bunch of AIDA type of headlines, like attention, interest, desire, action um, for writing ads, you could use a tool like this. And it works very, very well for that. If you wanted to generate engaging questions to ask an audience. You can also go to this tool and template right here um, too. And so plenty of stuff to explore inside of, of this realm that we can dive into as well, David. I just wanted to kind of 
you know, I, back up to like that was one of the things issues. that that kind of blew my mind a little bit when I was first learning about you know uh, Jasper and AI was the ability to take let's say the supplement thing and then mm -hmm. put it into you know attention interest desire action and then it spits back out you know uh, okay attention hey if you have arthritis pain or you know whatever you know there's a new solution for you something that gets attention right and then interest right there's a new something that you know that does something uh interest desire right it's now available like whatever it is and it actually like broke it down like that i, I just my jaw was on the floor as i watched it do that and um, so I, I wanted to show everyone here like how simple it is to use jasper for this from just basic research right if we say like we need mm -hmm. to come up with an ad for this turmeric supplement you can go and pull the basic information just from Amazon, come in, and you've got up to 800 characters to fill out here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see 800 characters here um, that you can fill out the content brief, 80 characters to fill out like a product name description. Um, and so you could fill this out with as much detail as you want. But with a pretty popular product like this, Jasper is going to have a good understanding of like of what we're going with this. We just want to direct it slightly. And so like tone of voice, like you say, um, is a big influence on on here is maybe there's a tone of voice that you've been um, having a lot of success with, David, that that we could add in. You mentioned Oprah oh, I just, earlier. I usually use things like, author like for this, I would use authoritative. Um, maybe I would try like doctor voice. Ooh, I like that. Doctor authority. And, you know, without, you don't need to get too crazy with it, but you can definitely experiment with these um, tones of voices and see what works best for you, what works best for your niche. If you're writing in a very particular niche, um, different like celebrities or people that have a lot of content online are there. And with just a blink of an eye, um, we've got some, some ideas for ads, right? So the first one we got for the supplement, are you looking for a natural way to support your joint health? You know, you can see the interest right here main objective they've been shown to help reduce inflammation and pain that's why we've created them with buyer parent of black pepper extract to increase yeah can you read that out loud i i on mine it's very small i don't know how it is for other people but okay. i probably got a lot of things um Cooking. okay cool please uh if i butcher any of this for nuns, just forgive me in advance guys um so yeah first one here are you looking for a natural way to support, support your joint health? Curcuminoids are the main active ingredient in turmeric. They have been shown to help reduce inflammation and pain. That's why we've combined them with bioparin, a black pepper extract to increase absorption and potency. Our capsules are non-GMO and gluten-free, so they're perfect for people with dietary restrictions. Plus, they contain 95% standardized curcuminoids for potency and absorption. You won't find a better product in the market today. Order our turmeric curcumin capsules today. Then that's the right. action. That's the action, right? That's so it went action. from top line attention, second interest, third desire, and fourth action. Right. And so this now, template is going to follow this every single time with this sort of format. Now this, and this isn't just regurgitating the stuff that you put in there, right? It's taking the stuff that you put in there, as I understand it, it's taking the stuff that you put in there and it's taking what it knows about curcumin mm -hmm. from having read, you know, billions of pages. It surely read a page about curcumin once. So it remembers that and it's, it's kind of putting it all together. And then if we then were to put a bunch of testimonials in there, it could again do an action, interest, attention, action or whatever, um, you know, attention, interest, desire action and mm -hmm. it would incorporate what it learned from those testimonials into the next try is yeah, that so is that like, fair yeah as long as you can and that's that's where you gotta you find a balance between using these uh templates versus like when do you want to use the boss mode for for this type of stuff as well because if you're building out and you want it to reference a lot more specific content like the testimonials you might run out of space here with these 800 characters um, but some of these testimonials might be like perfect, maybe not the one star ones. Oh, I see. So you're saying I, it would be better to go into boss mode for doing a lot of input like that. 
Yeah, because yeah. I, okay. I mentioned um, in passing earlier but we, before we, we took a little step back was that Jasper is going to reference up to 3,000 characters above as well as what it's referencing in the content brief. And so mm -hmm. we can build off of what we're doing right here. And then we can kind of transition to show you how we would do that with boss mode. But, you know, just a very minimal um, research in here. I've already seen fibromyalgia come up several times, right, for people with, that are experiencing like joint, joint pain and such. And so you could say right. like target like this review, you know, and adding this in for some extra context running a few more outputs as commands you just go down to the bottom select all the commands you want and let's see um let's see one of the first ones we've got right yeah. here chronic pain so it's referencing chronic pain more with this now that we gave it a little bit more direction mm -hmm. um something if i understand correctly too something that jarvis will any kind of ai is really good at pattern recognition right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, it will pick up, which is what we're supposed to do as copywriters, it will pick up on the language that people use over and over again in the testimonials, mm -hmm. right? If they say suffer from arthritis, it will use suffer from arthritis. If people never say I'm suffering from arthritis, because that's a little derogatory, it won't use that. It will, it will start to describe in the way that people describe in the testimonials. If it talks a lot about fibromyalgia, it will probably work fibromyalgia into this, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And so it, it's great for that kind of, you know, taking a whole bunch of information and getting from it what you need to get from it, recognizing the patterns. Absolutely, yeah. And the pattern recognition is like so critical to understand why Jasper works the way it does and it helps the, the more that you can like predict the patterns that Jasper is going to pick up on the, the better you can drive it and steer it in those directions to get the ultimate outcome of what we're, um, we're mm -hmm. going to be moving for here. So I actually want to, I think before we dive into the boss mode and, and start to really go through all the different headlines and like a little bit more maybe advanced versus like the templates are very specific outcomes that are designed to give you like, um, you know, a very particular type of output, right? AIDA, you're going to get this type of response every single time. Um, boss mode is going to be a little bit more free form, but you can also reference these templates. I want to show, cause I, I don't know, have you seen the new mini VSL template that just got released, David? No, I've watched a little bit of the stuff that you did with John, but that's, you know, because that's interesting because it, you know, AIDA is almost like the basic building block of copy, right? Mm -hmm. And in a way, the most complex manifestation of copy is the VSL, right? That's mm -hmm. probably the most complex thing that you can do with copy to put it together. It's got a lot of, you know, structure to it, a lot of things that have been found to be effective. Um, so that I, I think that gives you an idea, too, of just how uh, you know, wide ranging these templates are that it can yeah. even do a format for a VSL like that. Yeah. And, and I think like this would be a fun little experiment to see, like when you're talking about putting what you find in reviews in the Jasper and having a build off of it. Um, mm -hmm. One thing I really like about this, um, this VSL template in particular, or this VSL rep, yeah, the, the template is that you can go to these, these reviews right on Amazon and you can add in like, because Amazon does a lot of this filtering for you, turmeric, highly recommended pain relief, um, knee pain, lower back pain, right? These are all key words that just with a little bit of research, all you need to do now with Jasper is just plug these in and then watch the content get created. Right. And if you're a copywriter writing VSLs, mm -hmm. a mini VSL is 60 second script that's designed to send leads to an offer, right? High qualified leads, drive that traffic to an offer to download a free report, get them inside of your funnel, make a sale. Um, you know, maybe we just want to do like a quick, you know, example using this product, right? How quickly you that can. Be, that'd yeah. be great. And, and Indeed. we're talking about sort of mini VSLs now, right? Yeah, um, this is so you can obviously YouTube get super or something. 
Yeah. So you, you obviously go a lot more in depth with, with that. And that's kind of what, what we're working with John on is like the full blown, like using Jasper on all areas of it, but it's, you know, like you said, like VSLs are pretty, pretty heavy, you know, in terms of all the different elements and components that go right. to them. The longer so length ones. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. even just putting this template together, to be honest with you, took quite a bit more time than I had ever anticipated because of how, <laughs> how, um, you know, how in depth John is with his templates. Like he really is like a master of this stuff. Yeah. Um, he, and being able to train Jasper on this is, is really kind of mind blowing. So let me, because you, you work in this market also. So I'll just ask you as someone who has experience here, um, in terms of like an ideal buyer, is there maybe someone that, that comes to mind, um, like a niche and John would describe this as like, maybe like we would call like our ideal buyers, like Jasper nation, right? It's like right. It's a persona right. that we're using here. Is there a, any, any particular type of person who comes to mind, um, that we could use for this example? You know, older, um, suffers from knee, you know, suffers from some kind of joint pain and uh, is open to natural alternatives. Cool. Suffers. Um. I think when people are younger and they have pain, they're kind of like, yeah, I'll outgrow this. I'll exercise out of it. I'll, you know, it'll get better. I think when you're older, you tend to get um, you know, I, I've got to do something about this. Cool. Natural pain relief supplements, listing your key features and benefits here. So this yeah, is I don't an interesting they're looking spot. for natural pain relief supplements so much as they're looking for alternative solutions. They're open to natural solutions. They're not necessarily looking for, you know, okay, which had a supplement as they are like, you know, I'd, I'd rather not take steroids. I'd rather not have surgery. I'd rather not, you know, do those right. unnatural things. All right. I'm just going to go in here and just pick out some of like a, maybe the key enhanced bioavailability, natural and vegan, no fillers or binders. Now we're not, now we're not doing this as if that's the actual product, right? Our product is not this that we're doing. Is we that, could do any product. I'm, yeah, yeah, we no, could no, do no, any I, product. I was... No, no, no. I'm saying we're, we're taking from a competitive product in a way, right? We've got a product mm -hmm. that's got, you know, that stuff in it. So we went on Amazon to look for a similar product. Is that? Yeah, am I exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. And no. so if you, if you had like a product that you knew had different features, benefits, and maybe you do have one in mind that we could just list out a few of those. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I just to... want to be clear what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So people are clear that, you know, we're pretending we've got a supplement. And in order to generate stuff with um, Jasper, we're going to something, anything on Amazon that's got similar ingredients to it. Yep, exactly. Because um, I, I think one of the things is, of course, does this represent plagiarism now? Right? Are we plagiarizing this? Is, is Jasper just going to spit this back? So I think it's important to note that Jasper only takes these things as kind of learning, right? Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. going to just spit back these exact words. Right. Yeah. Jasper is going to see this and yeah, it's seeing this and it's the context that Jasper is going to take from and then create its own variations on what this content can be in the format, in this case of a VSL. Right. If we were using AIDA, it would do it in that sort of framework. Mm -hmm. If we're doing creative story, it's going to do things along the lines of creative story. So what I did here, I just took the like two of like the the top two bullet points on Amazon. There's a lot of information here. If you wanted to get really fine tune it, um, you could you fit a lot more information inside of these 800 characters. But we saw just from like, OK, I'm starting to sell this product. I'm going on Amazon. Um, what are some things that people experience? Okay. Knee pain, lower back pain. Um, you know, yeah. So it's like knee pain, lower back pain, right? Is clearly mm -hmm. a lot of people are, um, experiencing that Amazon's highlighting in, in the reviews. So I'm going to say lower back pain are like the negative circumstances. Um, is there any like negative or scary fact that 
that comes to mind with you for you know people with maybe joint pain in this demographic? It's like a, well, I mean, the scary fact is having to get a knee replacement or you know something mm, like that, yeah. having to have surgery, having to take drugs, having to take painkillers that you may become addicted to. There's a lot of you know. Uh, Charles Kilmer um, asked, you know, we learned that the best pitches imitate the voices of the people to whom the pitch is addressed. How can mm -hmm. this be done here with tone? You know, I, I think one way is just putting the testimonials in mm -hmm. um, and Jasper will start to recognize, you know, what that tone is. Um, I don't know if there's a way, is there a way to do that with the, with the uh, tone part of it where you put that in on the left? Uh, yeah. So for the tone of voice, we'll add something like that in down here. And so again, like an example for obviously like uh, understanding and doing the research before going into any of this to know like, this is the words that my audience is resonating with. This is what the people are actually saying that I'm selling this to is going to be the biggest key to all of this. And so coming into it with that research is super critical. Then adding in like a tone of voice that say on two ends of the spectrum, you've got Tim Ferriss, more analytical. And then you maybe got like Oprah Winfrey is like more like empathetic and, you know, conversational, right. Or, mm -hmm. or something along those lines, just using those different celebrity types that Jasper understands how they talk is going to have a huge impact on the output. And so if you're yeah. selling to people in the supplement space and they follow Dr. Phil and resonate with that type of tone at, or something like that. Right. Right. So you're, you're saying, He's asking how to imitate the voices of the people to whom the pitch is addressed. I mm -hmm. think you're saying that it may be even more important to imitate the voices of the people that those people listen to and follow and respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think that's a good way to at least like start with the tone of voice and getting Jasper more context to that, that level because clearly the way that they talk resonates with that, that market, right? And right, so, right, right, right. Would, would you be able to answer his question? Would you be able to take a testimonial, right, mm -hmm. and highlight it as a command or, or something and say, okay, Jasper, um, imitate this tone of voice, right? Write me more in this way, in this tone, yeah. in oh, this manner. But, yeah, let me, let me do this. Let's say this. All right. Let's take this top review right here. It's got 4,000 different people found this helpful. Um, mm -hmm. Like pretty in-depth tone of voice, right? And so this is where you'd want to use boss mode and to play around with it. Um, I'll jump in here and I would just paste that content okay. right here inside of boss mode. So now we've got this review. All my results. My pain has gone completely. My quality of sleep, incredible well-being. I don't take antidepressants. So, I mean, like 4,000 review, like help people found this help over 4,000 people found this helpful. Clearly this is a, a good review to maybe base some stuff on. Um, I might start, I'm going to zoom back in here, start, paste it all that content. Now mm -hmm. I haven't even put anything again over here to the side, right? Jasper's only going to be referencing right now the, that one review, but here's where, um, really you can get creative with Jasper and work with it to find this stuff. I'm putting these little carrots here that stand for commands and commands are like, you're telling Jasper do this for me. Right. And then it's going to execute it and write content on that behalf. So I'm going to say based on, I think about like Jasper talking to it, like you mentioned, like has your own personal writing assistant, mm -hmm. like talking to someone on the other side of a coffee table and like saying like, how would you ask somebody something like this or tell an assistant to like, Hey, I need this done based on the contents above what is the tone of voice the person is talking in question mark that's interesting yeah that's clever so now i'm gonna say because i'm like like i wonder what jasper is going to come up with with the tone of voice that can match this command shift enter is going to tell jasper to just do this so jasper says the tone of voice the person is talking in is exciting and positive and, you know, maybe that's the tone that you want to go with. If it is, you can take this tone and you can add it into that tone of voice box so that this tone resonates with all 
um, the content that you're going to be producing. Yeah, that's great. That front. That's um, great. If you want to you run say it, it again, resonates, you mean it will write in that tone. It will write excitedly and positively. Yeah. And, and yeah. alternatively, if you said like dull and boring, it's going to have more dull and boring outputs. Right. And right. so, but let's right. say you want like, ah, that's good, but Hey, Jasper, um, I need, I need some more help. I didn't, I don't like those tone of voice that you suggested there. Right. So do it again. So second time I did it excited, right? So clearly it's getting the excitement. I would agree positive and hopeful. Okay. Interesting. There's a hopeful, um, vibe to it. And so maybe I like that keyword. And maybe I'm just like, okay, you know, this is a little too slow. I'm only getting one output at once. Um, here, here's kind of like a hack that you guys um, can can tap into and use to just like get, you know, be more efficient inside of Jasper is you can have up to 200 characters inside of this command. And so what I could say is based on the content above, what's the tone of voice the person is talking in, list out 10 um, tones of voice <clears throat> that I can reference. So now because I'm telling it 10 tones of voice right here, Jasper again is picking up on the patterns, right? And it's recognizing that, mm -hmm. okay, now we're doing a number and, and command shift enter again. Now we've got, okay, we've got excited, grateful, pain relief, cured, well, humble, honest, sincere, passionate. Um, and relieved. So I'm saying sincere is, a, sincere is a nice one. Sincere. Yeah. Yeah. So, and maybe there's a few on here that we, that we like, and I say like, okay, excited, sincere, and positive might be like the ones that really stick out here. I could mm -hmm. take those tones of voice, add them in here. I'll say like sincere, positive. And then, you know, again, if I like, okay, cool. I just brainstormed that. I just want to go and add that in now over here. To, mm -hmm. to what I'm working on in my VSL, say like free sample. And I'm going to jump back in to, to boss mode after this. Um, capsule supplements, um, product name. Let me see. What is it? Turmeric. And um, ultimate goals is like spend more time with family, um, no pain, um, and you know, say niche is, you know, older people who want to be active and experience pain. Let's say 10,000. Joint, joint pain relief. Joint pain relief, number of customers, um, and the big idea, this is really like, I have a really difficult time with getting Jasper to give a big idea. Obviously there's more that goes into like a big idea like that, but is there maybe like a hook that you found um, on like the supplement space? And John uses an example of like a muscle confusion from P90X, right? It was a, a great hook um, that got people in. Um, yeah, well, you know, as you say, it really depends on the product itself, right. but you know, you could say something like, you know, uh, deactivates the brain's pain messages or something like that would might be a, a kind of a mechanism or a hook of that, that people would understand if that's actually how it works. And, you know, some pain relief, it does work like that, right? De Just deactivates the... And like this is again for examples purposes here, right, guys? We're yeah. showing you how the tool would work. We just added in a few different key product features, name of the company, a little bit about the audience, what pain they're experiencing. And the goal of this would be to send traffic to the landing page that we're then going to write with, with the reviews and all of that stuff in mind. Um, and so I just wanted to get a few different outputs here. And Jasper's thinking right now, and this is, um, let's go ahead and do it right here. So, so the first one that we've got, I'll, I'll read it out. It says, hi, it's Dave from BioShorts. I have something, inc some incredible news to share with you. Our team has been hard at work and we finally developed a turmeric supplement that's, that's up to 150 milligrams per serving with 95% standardized curcuminoids. This means that it's one of the most potent turmeric supplements on the market today. But that's not all. We've also added 10 milligrams of bioparin, which is an extract from black pepper. It's been shown to increase the absorption of turmeric by 
2,000%. So what does this mean for you? It means that you can finally experience the joint pain relief you deserve without having to worry about taking painkillers after surgery or any ri other risks associated with them. And the best of all, our turmeric supplements, all natural, non-GMO, free of soy, gluten, milk, eggs, wheat, GMOs, peanuts, sweeteners, shellfish, and sugar. If you're interested in trying our turmeric curcumin supplement for yourself, mm -hmm. we're offering a free sample. So click the link below to claim yours while supplies last. Yeah. Right. See, I would I would emphasize this is like a starting point now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. The I have some incredible news for you. That's just um, Jasper trying to be enthusiastic. We told it to be enthusiastic. It's being mm -hmm. enthusiastic. Any one of these places we could ask Jasper to elaborate on. Right. We could ask yep. Jasper to do an alternative way of doing it. We could, you know, ask Jasper to try the whole thing again. In fact, it, it's giving us a couple of versions. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like the first draft, right? Like, how do we get the right. first draft of this out? And then take a, you know, an objective look at it and say, okay, cool. That wasn't very good. I really like this line, the way that it said that. Maybe I need to tweak some of the inputs a little bit more. Um, but I mean, in general, let me see the discovered this, help me reduce just can go low. I'm just going to copy this one here, right? You know, because once I you you know, one of the things that I would see from this, right, mm -hmm. that's kind of interesting is that Jasper has decided not to talk about addiction to painkillers in terms mm -hmm. of um, in terms of addiction to painkillers because you're taking it for the pain of the arthritis. Mm -hmm. It's talking about addiction to painkillers because of the pain of uh, the pain that comes after the surgery that you've had to get rid of the um, arthritis pain, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. And that's kind of Jasper saying, look, I, in my reading of billions of pages of the internet, right? What I have found is that addiction to painkillers is a bigger problem after surgery for getting rid of arthritis stuff, mm -hmm. get your knees replaced or to get, you know, injections or whatever, than it is for people taking painkillers to get rid of their arthritis pain. So mm -hmm. that's something I might not have thought to talk about, right? That I might get from this is, wow, that's, you know, that's a good point that I need to bring up in my copy now that I've kind of learned from Jasper. Yeah, no, that's a really interesting takeaway from it. And, you know, again, like an idea that might not have come across you know, initially that, and now it's like, okay, might, might be worth weaving that into, um, the content we're going to be creating. And so, you know, you can take this and open it directly inside of a document, but you can also just go ahead and copy and paste it over into, let's say, you know, another document now that you've got your tone of voice. Um, you could keep this content here if you wanted, or you could delete it. It's really up to you. Um, yeah, but what you might want to do now at this point is say like, cool, we've got a really rock solid review and we've got the, the makings of what could be like the lead generation, like VSL script, right? Mm -hmm. that, that we could write for something like this. Um, you mentioned before, I think what we were talking about in the other, and I had written down the other documents, like now we need headlines for something like this. Oh, I was right? just thinking about headlines. Great. So let's, let's, check in with Jasper and say like, Hey Jasper, like I've got a lot of context here and, and we haven't even really written anything in the content brief. So I'm going to actually move over and start with this just a little bit. And I'm going to type in, I'm going to say like, I'm just going to tell it, I can be very literal with it right here. And just like, it's this fire pain supplements. Um, and I'm going to say like, this is a copywriting exercise to um, create sales page copy based on um, customer reviews of the product. And I can continue to expand on this, but we've already got a lot of reviewed and like the review information here, which Jasper is going to recognize. And, and Jasper is going to pick up that like, okay, we're writing sales page copy based on customer reviews about this product. I could continue to add more and more context into here. 
um, as I need to, but I kind of want to build it and grow with it and see how Jasper is even responding to me right now. Um, but now like, let's, let's dive in and say like, write me a series of say, and like adjectives are also a really powerful, um, like little tool tip to add into here. Um, but you could say compelling, you could say like, or like empathetic headlines, you could use any other, you know, sort of like descriptive word here, and that'll help steer Jasper in that sort of direction. Headlines for this product based on the review above. Let's use it back here. And so this is me again, just telling Jasper, hey, like I'm the boss, write this for me, and I'll tell you if I like it or not. Right. And so got a few to review. Pain relief gone in an instant. Improves sleep and well being. Curbs appetite and is all natural. Reduces joint pain better than prescribed drugs. Like, mm -hmm. meh. I mean, you're not like, you're not the, the most amazing headlines, but, you know, it's certainly a start for something. Right. How do, how do you tell it to keep going? How do you tell it to give me things that are more headliney? Mm -hmm. um, so you want to like keep going, maybe and generate more headlines based off of this one. Right. Cool. So if you want to do that, the first thing I'm going to try is uh, putting my cursor here at the end of where I, I want Jasper to continue writing. And I'm mm -hmm. going to press compose, which um, you can press as a button down here. Compose, or you can also click command J. And that is just going to tell Jasper, not command, say like run this command, but it's just going to say continue the comp, like continue writing about this. And so I just did that, and now it's generating more ideas. Right. Now it's actually so, get generating more headlines, like say goodbye to joint pain with turmeric curcumin. Mm -hmm. um, the natural way. And again, these aren't like headlines necessarily at this point that you're going to take and put into your copy, but they're headlines that can get you thinking of, you know, ways of expressing it, of formats, of words that you can use, of ways of saying things that you can use. Mm hmm it's kind of and, brainstorming with you and saying, what about this? And you say, well, not that, but what about this? Right. And then that's what you can also experiment with, with these commands, right? If you want to use a word like brainstorm, like you just did mm. brainstorm, a series of 30 thought provoking or, or you, maybe another what one. What about is attention, thought. attention getting. Okay. Attention. Getting headlines for this product based on the reviews above here. Stick a, stick that? a dash in there, if you would, so it knows that it's one, it's attention getting. Cool. Yeah. So brainstorm okay. a series of, and this number is a variable, really. Like if you wanted it to be 10, we could do 10. Um, we right. could expand on it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you want a lot, then you could put like, I usually like, like 50 or some other number here. So. 10, experience the power of turmeric, turmeric pain relief, pain-free in days, end your struggles. Where's that one? Um, where's the surgery one? Um, I thought I saw one about uh, avoiding surgery or something like that. Hmm. Um, that might have been in the earlier ones. But you can see, uh, you know, just how in working with it, you can get it closer to what you want. You can direct it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and see, and again, like if you wanted to continue the brainstorming, you just need to update the number right here and have Jasper continue kind of the thought and saying, oh, now we're doing 30, not just 10. I'm going to keep writing you. Like, say goodbye. You know, joint pains. And say, say, say goodbye to joint pain and say hello to freedom. So interesting. Mm -hmm. And one thing you've also mentioned in, in, our, in our previous conversation as well is like, okay, creative ways to market a product also yeah. like how would you how would you go about marketing coming up with campaigns maybe what are some questions or right. types of contents yeah. you want to brainstorm in that so in any for any one of those you could put the cursor at the end of it and press you know command j and it will 
it will riff off of that particular headline, right? So this is where you need to be very precise when you're, you're writing inside of Jaspers, because if mm -hmm. I were to just go back up to, let's say, 14 and click Command J, Jasper still thinks it's writing a listicle. And so you can keep generating, you know, and just keep uh. going up and generating like that. But now let's... When nothing well, else what about works. when nothing else works? Because that's an interesting, that's like a, cool. oh, that's an interesting approach, right? Cool. Might not have thought of, of yeah, it positioning so. it as the uh, last resort kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So how do yeah, I so, tell Jasper, I want more like that one? Okay. So let's just say like when nothing else works. So you want it to keep along these lines or do you want yes, it to generate more exactly. headlines along the same pattern? Yep. Cool. So. I'm going to start here and then I'm going to say, I'm going to put these three blinders on and these, these asterisks are called blinders. And that's just going to tell Jasper, Hey, Hey, don't reference anything up here mm -hmm. anymore. Like, so I want you to focus in and now Jasper is only going to see what's over here as long as I have these toggles on. And so it's mm -hmm. still going to rec um, re re reference that. Um, and we can update that as much or as little as we want, but Jasper isn't going to be just necessarily pulling from anything that's below here. Right. And, and so if we want three to... dots tells it not to pull of anything of above. So we've isolated that headline. Yep. Okay. And so now I might want to come in here and say like, okay, one, um, when nothing else works or joint pain, um, right here, I might have seen like just riffing on this is like, okay, how would I want to ask like Jasper to continue writing headlines on this. So I might like create a list of headlines that are, are similar, but different from the head line above. And I'll test that and see if that works. And let's see, and then it's giving me five, now it's giving me like five turmeric, you know, Five mm -hmm. reasons why turmeric is the best joint release supplement, um, how to get the most out of your turmeric and top 10 benefits. So, I mean, yeah. these are all like yeah. blogs or different. Can you try, um, can you try a command J after, after that first headline? After the first one? Yeah. Just a command yeah. J there. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's see so where it, it continues. goes. Okay. Well. So now, now Jasper is, it, now, because now it was Command J, yeah. Right, it's elaborating on that. Yeah, this powerful supplement has been shown to be effective for reducing inflammation and pain of the joints made with only the highest quality ingredients. Um, turmeric, curcumin with bioparin is a natural way to get relief, right? So don't let it stop you from doing the things you love. Try and see the difference, right? And so now it just wrote its own little ad because Jasper loves to sell stuff <laughs> right um, right there. And so, you know, that's maybe like one example, but it, it's, you see that a lot more in when you're doing like command J is that it's going to say, okay, continue it less, less I'm writing mm -hmm. in there, but nothing. Oh, here but it you knows go. that we're writing an ad. We were incredibly okay, here, frustrating. Yeah. See, this is now we finally got it to where it's writing about, what at least I was looking for it to write about, which is the mm -hmm. when nothing else works idea. Okay. Right? So it rec when joint pain can be incredibly frustrating. Uh, you may have tried every cream and ointment on the market, but nothing seems to provide lasting relief. If you're looking for something that will finally help ease joint, your joint pain, turmeric, curcumin, and bioprene supplement is worth a try. I mean, it's not great copy, but it, you could see how it's kind of now elaborating on this idea of you've tried everything else. Specifically, you've tried creams, you've tried ointments. Um, mm -hmm. And again, it's giving you fodder, right? It's giving you material. It's giving you ideas. It's giving you ways of saying things. So what might you want to get from this content now that, that you have a general working idea for the nothing else works angle, right? Like you want to create, like what are some marketing angles that we can go against this or maybe where, where might you want to steer the ship, David? Well, I'm thinking that in, in order to get more specific with that, we would have to put that over on the left into the background, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, 
the 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 may not maybe not literally put that in, but that's yeah, you could do that. Just put in that idea that our cream works when nothing else does. So Jasper then knows that about this product. Yep, exactly. And that, that's what I think those little like gold nuggets of like content that you want to ensure end up making their way in here as they come up, add those off into the, the content brief so that Jasper continues to pull um, from them on that side. Let me see where we're going to end up here. Yeah. So yeah. Brainstorm, nothing else works. Um, we talked about nothing else works. Uh, I'm just trying to think of like other, other like ways that we can continue to maybe even let me do this. Let me copy this and I'm going to go up now because we've generated, we've done the brainstorming, right? Like in this, mm -hmm. sure, we can come back and look at it, but I'm not really too concerned about it right now. Um, I'm going to go and paste that maybe actually like right above. So the review ended right here and nothing else works. Joint pain. Um, it's just, you know, what are some creative marketing angles that we could um, test based on this product working when nothing else does? Okay, so Jasper tells us some creative marketing angles could be we could target the fibromyalgia market specifically. We could target seniors with the product for improved sleep quality, right? We target people looking for all natural um, alternatives to prescription drugs. You know, that, that idea of improving sleep quality could be a mil you know, billion dollar idea. That, that's something that was done very successfully in the weight loss market where uh, I think it was Resurge had a product and they positioned it as a weight loss product that also helps you get better sleep and getting better sleep helps you lose weight, right? Because if you're up all the time mm -hmm. eating, you can't lose weight, right? If you're unhappy because you're not sleeping, you likewise, you know, will eat more and won't lose weight. So that little thing there could be huge, right? And that's just, um, that's Jasper looked at everything and saw that saw that one of the things that this did was to improve, improve sleep. Yeah. Like those little, little nuggets and takeaways, you know, then you could take that, right. And we could update even the content reef even more and say like improve sleep quality, right. Or help. Right. And you put that on the left as we keep saying, put it on the left. So it knows to keep incorporating mm -hmm. that. Now. Yeah. So. Someone so like, asked an interesting question, and I guess it's kind of what I'm asking too, is, is can you, like that headline that we liked about when nothing else works, right? Yeah. Um, can we say, can you say, Jasper, try again, do better, more versions of this, more like this? Like how yeah, do you I, kind of... Yeah, so that? I could take this and say, okay, Jasper, um, let me think for a second. Let me try this actually. So um, I'm going to take now, I'm going to take this headline, the idea that we've got from Jasper here. And instead of giving it a command in here, um, this just released this week, guys, um, as of the time that we're, we're doing this live, um, a new template called commands. And so what we've been doing inside of boss mode is running commands and writing them out. But now Jasper's actually got a template for commands that allows you to give much more context to what you're looking at here in a far more focused field. And you can see what I did here was just go up to the top of my screen um, and I clicked and before I was in focus mode, now I am in power mode. And power mode allows me to just kind of open up um, all the different templates that we, we talked about earlier on the left-hand side and the top of the template command, I think this is because I favorited it um, myself. But now you got like, do you have any background information for Jasper? And so I'm going to say, yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, I do have background information for Jasper. I'm going to give, um, you know, 
Jasper, maybe this, this context that we've got, not the entire content brief necessarily, but I'm going to say, um, this is a headline writing exercise to create copywriting exercise to create more headlines based on the headline below when nothing else works helps within or improve joint sleep let's just remove that one so i'm going to say now write a series of and it could be list it could, i could reword it if it doesn't give me what i want um, series of headlines let me say attention grabbing headlines attention grabbing headlines based on this headline I'm going to be like very literal here. And the benefit that I'm finding with just using this, even like barely like diving into it this week, I said, it just got a few days ago. Um, Jasper just released it is you're limited to about 200 characters for running a command inside of boss mode here. We've got up to 800 characters. And so like, I want the headlines to um, vary um, across the board and um, target the angle of this product working um, for joint pain when nothing else does. Leave it right there. Um, like this doesn't have the tone of voice with it, which is fine. Um, but instead of three, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to seven uh, just to get more outputs there. I think that it'll, it'll go well. All right, cool. So here's now where we're at. Now we're generating a bunch of different headlines. When traditional mesh unveils, curcumin may help. New supplement claims to ease joist pain. Some suffer joist pain from relief. Like curcumin shows promise as a treatment for joint pain. New supplement hits market. Don't suffer from joint pain any longer. Try supplement. Yeah, it's going a little bit off there, but the ones above that mm -hmm. um, were certainly much more you know, did exactly what we asked, right? When traditional medicine sales, curcumin may help. And it's great. Um, and it certainly now gives you something that you can work with, right? And polish that up and, you mm -hmm. know, make more unique. The, the cure for joint pain. pain. Then, yeah, the, the cure for joint pains. When medicaid that's great too, right? When medications mm -hmm. fail. And there's, there's the natural trend. The last, natural the last resort. Yep. the cure for joint pain when nothing else works for. Yeah. So you can see that this, this assistant that we're talking about, right, is very trainable, right? And if you learn to communicate with it in the right way, right, its output can be, you know, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Really cool to see the progression here, right, from like, these, like finding like the, few little snippets that Jasper did come out with, right? You know, it might've yeah. taken us, let's say like 30 minutes to come to this point. But if this were you doing it and we're not on a live, you know, interview <laughs> walking through and demonstrating it, talking through it, I mean, you can get this type of content in, I mean, I'm talking about a matter of a couple of minutes. If, yeah. if you're working through it and you have like the research on one side, you're inputting the content and um, like you can get to be where not just fast, but like, extremely effective with mm -hmm. the type of input you're putting in knowing that, okay, because I said this, this is going to happen. And then just like having the, the awareness of the different templates that right. Jasper has to offer besides just using boss mode and knowing all these commands yourself, that does come with a learning curve. You're not going to, you know, snap your fingers and become a, a Jasper, you know, magician overnight, but it just like anything and any tool that's worth integrating um, and has a learning curve, you know, practice and testing things out, you know, working through it on your own projects, other projects with other people um, and using it like that assistant, it can be very effective for, again, just brainstorming, coming up with those mm -hmm. ideas and then, you know, being the, the logician behind it, um, you know, turning that into copy that's going to, you know, actually sell and you're going to publish it. And there's templates for things like Facebook ads, mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of 
you know, everything imaginable for content of various kinds, writing a book. Yeah. And I mean, this is, you know, again, like scratching the surface at what Jasper can even do. I mean, I feel like even right. today versus a month from now, we're going to have new things that are, people are coming out inside of the community that are like, wow, did you know that you could do this and that could come out? Um, you know, court, like there's a few, I mean, we could, we could riff on this all day. I know we're coming up on time a little bit here, um, David, but um, you know, I think in general, um, you know, my, my takeaway from today, uh, especially kind of like looking at this from with a pers your own perspective, is that you're not looking for Jasper right to write the entire headline, the entire article right out the gate. What you're looking for is something that you can do that's unique and that has an idea and has like weight behind, can have legs to it, right? Like with that, mm -hmm. and we got all of this from simply copying in essentially like one Amazon review and <laughs> a couple things that you could find openly on the internet. And Jasper just created this unique content um, off that that you know could help even just it just yeah. saves a few hours a week in your research and coming up with these things like it's a big time saver. I think the other thing too is that Jasper is constantly being improved. AI is constantly being improved, right? They're coming out with mm -hmm. GPT four. They've come out with it already. That's going to be incorporated into Jasper pretty soon. So as AI and Jasper evolve and improve. If you're using it, you'll be at the, you know, at the tip of that spear, right? You'll, you know, you'll be ready. You'll know how to use it. You'll be used to incorporating AI. And as it improves, it'll your what you can do with it will then improve exponentially as it gets better and better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a great point because, like I said, even a couple of weeks ago, we didn't have the commands template or the mini VSL template. Mm -hmm. And every month at the AI author, we're producing like more advanced recipes, creating these templates on the back end, working with Jasper for it. And so, you know, the sooner that you're getting up to speed and just knowing how to use the tool, the faster you'll be able to implement it as right. new new developments happen. Because I mean. We're writing a book on the process right now and almost every other month we're like okay we got to go back and re-update it because you know new things have been added right mm -hmm. on a constant basis and so we're very much at the, the the frontier of of ai and with jasper you know kind of leading the charge in terms of you know yeah. um, and you're when you say at here at ai author um i just wanted to tell people like that's your company that you do kind of add-ons for Jasper that make it even more powerful. You create recipe, what's mm -hmm. called recipes within Jasper that en enable um, it to do specific tasks even better, create you know more customized kinds of things. Yeah, exactly. So we, we specialize really in, in creating um, more, we call them like premium Jasper recipes, uh, customizing them around specific workflows. So recipes are essentially like, pre-built workflows to help you get a desired outcome, right? So we have one for um, writing like book outlines, writing book titles, entire yeah. books, essentially. They're kind of like, yeah, they're kind of like templates, but you know, more yeah. a, little, a little bit more custom made. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. can, you, you can create them yourself even th that enable you to do something that you might want to do. I have a, yeah. I have a friend who uses, um, who uses Jasper for creating exercises when he does a course. He's like, okay, yeah. here's the lesson for this course. Jasper, give me 10, 10 exercises people can do to better learn this, you know, this, this lesson. And, you know, Jasper will come up with 10, you know, exercises and he'll take them and tweak them. And, you know, he's got the exercises he needs. Yeah, that's a, that's a really cool example. I, you see, I see like course creators, people that are mm -hmm. using them for like coming up with, you know, USPs, you know, for like brainstorming on that element, people using them for like save the cat is like a beat sheet overview for like screenwriters. We've got people using recipes for those. Um, we actually have an event next week, um, recipe rockstar bootcamp, where we're going to be working through it with our community and helping people learn how to create their own recipes as well. Um, so if that is something that anyone here is interested in or just joining and learning what we're doing, that's, uh, at the AI author.com. Um, you can come in and check out what we're up to. We've got a private community um, where people are really using Jasper at a more advanced level. Um, right. Again, just the AIauthor.com. Um, check us out there um, if you want to stay in the know. Um, but otherwise, if you are new to Jasper and you just want to get started, um, I would recommend you guys get started with Jasper. Get in, check out some of the templates, 
check out boss mode a little bit. Um, and David um, is an affiliate as well with Jasper and um, as an affiliate um, of Jasper uh, going through David L slash Jasper will get you the ability to tap into 10,000 free credits, which you can use. Um, credits are, are the character counts that get applied whenever you run and create content. Um, so you can sign up for a free trial there um, and start giving Jasper a go, you know, cancel obviously anytime you want, but um, go through um, mm -hmm. David's link so that you can get access to that 10,000 um, bonus credits. Cause you know, unless yeah. you like paying for stuff right out the gate, that's fine too. But this yeah, way, I, mean, I would, yeah. I would emphasize that five, you know, you get five days, I think to try it out. Yep. Yeah. And you really owe it to yourself to try out, at least play around with, you know, what can be done on AI these days and what could be done on Jasper. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking another thing I like to use it for every once in a while, I'll ask it like, you know, um, you know, I'll say, let's say I'm supposed to talk to a plumbing company about advertising or something like that. Guy owns like 10 plumbing stores. I'll say, what questions should I ask the head of marketing of a plumbing, of a plumbing company, you know? And it'll like suggesting that, you know, maybe five of them will just be silly, but there'll be like, you know, one or two of them in there. It'll be like, you know, I wouldn't have thought to ask him that, you know, and it'll give me ideas for things. That's cool. So you're using it to brainstorm like questions to interview people to, I mean. Yeah. Questions totally. <laughs> to interview people, you yeah. know, um, how, how can I get my son to work harder at school? Like you could ask it anything, <laughs> right? Um, it like it's happy to answer any sort of a question like that, right? We see people using it often for uh, responding to like negative reviews or like people like you know like someone responds back and says, right. "Oh, rah rah rah, I'm super upset about this," and you know, in the heat of the moment, and uh, we're all human here, <laughs> you'd say stuff that might not be like as ideal. Um, and responding in a certain situation, right? And you know, step mm -hmm. back away, give it a rest, but, or you can just plug it into Jasper. What would, what would Jasper say in a very caring, understanding tone to this response, right? And like, I think it's like having a, you could have a dialogue really with Jasper, right? You could say, you know, what do I do in this, you know, and it says, that, what else could I do? You know, what if I don't want to do that? What are some other ideas along those lines? What if this happens? Right. You can actually, you know, it's like actually talking to someone. Yeah, very, very much so. And you know, I've actually had one experience where I was, I was working through uh, one of our recipes, uh, the hero's journey recipe based on, you know, Joseph Campbell's 12 stages of the hero's journey. And at one right. point Jasper picked up that, like I was writing, I was doing like a character avatar development. And at some point in the, in the recipe, when I was running it, Jasper got to saying like, Oh, clearly we're like, interviewing or doing a customer thing. And so it started asking itself questions and answering its own questions. And right, so I ended right. up with like thousands of words with Jasper having a conversation with itself, <laughs> with the persona that it was learning from what I gave it. Right. And it was, I was pretty mind blown by it. And, you know, I never even thought that that could be like done, but because of the pattern recognition and the way that the AI is structured, mm -hmm. again, conversation with it just you know, just have a conversation and, and see where things can go. And I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's really the basis of creativity, right? Mm -hmm. Is having a conversation. It's asking questions. It's, it's that generative process. And Jasper is such a great uh, partner for that. And yeah. that's the trouble I... with copywriting is you do it by yourself, yeah. you know, for the most yeah. part, unless you're part of a team, unless you work, you know, within a company and, brilliant as one's own brain may be it's only your own brain and as soon as you have another brain working with you there's an exponential increase because it's asking you questions it's prompting you it's it's a catalyst it's you know it's inspiring things right um one time there's a i think there's a template or something within jasper where it's like bad ideas come up yeah. with bad ideas right and i did that for something i was working on and some of those bad ideas, first of all, some of those bad ideas were pretty good ideas, but also some of those bad ideas made me think of good ideas. Mm. So that's what I mean by that, you know, um, catalyst, generative, inspiring, right? As writers, we need that because otherwise we get in our own little world of, you know, our own thoughts, our own 
ways of thinking, the own all, all the ruts that we've dug for ourselves, all the ways of doing things. We've always done it the way we've always written it. And it, you know, Jasper kind of frees you from that. Mm -hmm. Plus it's fun. It's just fun to have a partner that you could, you know, and it's like always there, right? Wake it up three in the morning. It doesn't care, you know? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm with you a hundred percent. I would say like, you know, two almost what a year and a half plus ago, you know, when Jasper mm -hmm. was just becoming a thing, um, right. the, just the, you know, the empowerment that like I get in the community gets right. You get from like not needing to worry that you're going to get stuck with writer's block and you're going to have to sit and like not have an idea come out of your head for like, I don't know if that happens to you still, but I mean, I would hardly ever write any content for myself like at all in my copywriting because I was just like, like I know it, I'm an expert in it, but like I can't articulate it very well. And I would just write for other people's products. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as I started using Jasper, it's like, oh, like now I can throw ideas off of somebody and they can bounce them back. And now I've got a first draft done. Right. Now it's not so right. scary to keep the conversation going. Um, mm -hmm. I guess you're more of like an editor in chief at this point than than a writer. Like not not in every instance of it, but like you, you're right. able to kind of step up and not need to do maybe some of the grunt work of some of the brainstorming of some of the, the tedious work that you could just ask Jasper to help you some of these questions. Yeah. Some of the digesting of the things, right? Mm -hmm. like, like you say, it's kind of grunt work. It's kind of taking all this information and processing it. And Jasper helps you do that, right? It processes it and it remembers it. Yeah, you can even yeah. have it summarize content, right? Like here's three paragraphs, like give me like a three sentence summary right. of what summary. we just talked about. Yeah. Um, Charles Kilmer says, you know, uh, kind of summarizing what we were doing, take the best title, plug it back into the command. You know, I think that's exactly it, right? There's generative stuff. You take the best and then you put it back on the, I guess it's on this side, on the left side where, you know, where it can become part of, of Jasper's learning now. And Jasper can always keep it in mind. Um, Deb says the commands template has been pure gold for me. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to try that out. I didn't even know about that. I mean, it's constantly, I can't even keep up with all the stuff that's, <laughs> that's coming out. Do we, I do we have time for questions? If people yeah, questions let's, let's, let's open it up for, for questions and you know, yeah, that commands template super great. I, for some reason I can't even see the chat on my end. So um, if you if you have the questions on your end, please. Yeah. Please and do if, you, share. If, if you've asked a question earlier, ask it again. Um, Charles says, where is the command template? I guess it's uh, under templates, right? Yeah. If you go inside of your um, your account on on Jasper and I'll show you guys like to search the stuff, it's pretty quick and easy. Um, you just go inside of your templates account and then you would just search. Commands. And command maybe it's just command there we go so as you search stuff it'll it'll just pop up here if you wanted to search like aida for example you just search that right here and AI, aida comes up mm -hmm. facebook right you get all the facebook templates that pop up you can also filter through here if you want to look through every specific um in particular yeah cool um i had a question which is you yep. know when when people when you sign up for the uh, trial, um, they don't bill you, right? They don't bill you until the trial is up. So you have that five days to use it and mm -hmm. um, you know, play around with it, do whatever with it, get everything yeah. out of it that you want. I, That's yeah, I, be I believe you, you need to put a, a card on file um, for whenever you do sign up. Because if you right. go over- They don't, your, your they don't ding it until the five days is up. You can yeah. cancel any time. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to, because I always worry about that. Mm -hmm. I love trying stuff out. Um, Any other questions from the crowd? Anyone here? Yeah. And I think one thing I was just, maybe if, while we're waiting for another question to come through, if you guys are in the commands template, um, what I found when we were doing this last week, test, test or couple of days ago, testing it out was, you know, if you're writing a, you want to write like a blog or a short blog blip mm -hmm. about something, right? Introduction, what's the outline and conclusion? You can have Jasper basically write your entire intro outline and conclusion now inside of the commands template. 
take that output, plug it into boss mode, and then you could just start expanding on each of the outlines and like mm -hmm. basically can write a short thousand word, 500,000 word blog and like blink of an eye almost. And that can go for a lot of different types of yeah. content, but like be very, the ability to be able to give it that much more characters worth of commands is totally awesome. Like compared to, to get the exact type of content out that you're looking for. Yeah. The more information you can give it, the better it will do. That, that mm -hmm. was part of the thing of what we were doing. We didn't have, didn't give it a lot of information. So, you know, um, and that made me think of something too, which is, you know, the uh, Uber copywriter asked, you know, is it able to summarize the key points of a clinical study of an ingredient into something that sounds more conversational? Um, yeah, it, I, I, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I, I've seen it take stuff that's really complex and make it simple. I've seen it... Um, I've seen it take stuff that's really simple even and make it complex. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have fun too with it. You can give it like the Gettysburg Address and then give it something and say, okay, make this sound like the Gettysburg Address above, you know? Um, yeah, and here, here's a quick way to do that also. Um, and uh, keeping in mind, like with the summary ability is that you're still going to be limited in some aspect to like, you can't put like a 5,000 word you know, study and have Jasper just go and reference all of it. Not as of yet. Anyways, it's still limited to that kind of 3000 character bit. And so mm -hmm. you might need to take it in chunks. Um, but another thing you can do um, that I find to be a very helpful tool set of Jasper is say like you had like this sentence joint plane could be frustrating. Um, you know, and, and this is what you're saying. You're like, eh, I like the way that sounds, but I'm not too sure. Go up here to the upper right hand corner. You can see, um, explain it to a fifth grader and rephrase. So if you just wanted to rephrase something, you could do that. But I love the explain it to a fifth grader because this gives yeah, you the ability great. to just do that. Let's see that one. Eh, not, not so much. I want to go ahead and try that again and say that nothing else seems to help. See, it seems to provide lasting relief. It just says nothing else seems to help if you're looking for something to ease. Mm -hmm. Try you know, putting in the man. Gettysburg Address there or something. And, you know, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth and then explain it to a fifth grader and see what it does with it. Uh, let me see. Uh, where is it in here? Four score. See these first two lines? Um, now we're, we're kind of in boss mode with this, but here again, such a cool thing with power mode. Mm -hmm. Go over here, you know, explain it to a fifth grader as a template. So we can go to explain it to a child, which is the same thing, up to 800 characters. We can put this in and output level, I'm going to say five, and generate um, content. Over 70 years ago, our, fa our fa fathers founded this nation. So they said liberty is the nation, but um, let me scroll in here. You see the difference in language, right? Obviously, like who, who talks, who says four score and seven years ago anymore? <laughs> like, um, over 70 years ago, almost 80 years ago, our founding fa our fathers founded the new nation on this continent. The nation was founded on the idea that all people are created equal. We are now fighting in a great civil war to see if the nation can last on this battlefield. Many have died so the nation might live. Yeah. So you could, you can see how it can take something and, and simplify it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, the other thing you can do is, you know, let's say you've written something and you don't have, you know, you've written an article, but it needs a good introduction. So put the article in there and get, Jasper to write the introduction, or maybe you've written something and it needs a conclusion. So, you know, Jasper, write a conclusion for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be writing the whole article, right? Sometimes it can just be, hey, you know, write, a, write an introduction for me. Let's see what this says. Yeah, I mean, something to play with, right? There's a lot of ways that you can approach this, mm -hmm. and it really is like, you know, endless. 
ways mm-hmm. to approach this different things. And sometimes you just need to try and see what works and what doesn't for you. And because different right. people will write commands differently and get sometimes the same type of output, but sometimes different in a good way because it's being directed based on how you're talking to it. And so like the types yeah. of commands that you're giving in, the type of context, all going to have a, a role to play mm-hmm. like on that front. Okay. And then, yeah. Someone's asking about training and some people are actually answering that, yes, they have a boot camp, and the boot camp is really good. The, the yeah. videos that were done, they're funny. They're, they're not long and involved. They're, you know, mm-hmm. they're, they're very succinct. And it's it's a perfect uh, perfect introduction to everything. Yeah. And they also have a lot of videos about specific cases. That's, yeah. Uh, is very yeah. 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 Absolutely. Get- yeah. Kyle Williams is is great on top of all those boot camp videos. If you're just getting started, I would definitely start with that boot camp. Go through it. Take about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Yeah. Um, someone else asked ask if you own the stuff, right? That Jasper. Uh, generates yes. for you yeah and, yeah so yeah. it's all your content it's not jasper's um there is a built-in copy scape to the tool and you know always recommend you know if you're publishing anything like run it through you know copy checker anyways like because jasper knows so much sometimes it'll say sentences that are similar and can get picked up on that front so i mean just being you know aware like more often than not i would say closer to like 98 99 percent of the time like it's generating totally original content you will find instances where it, it pulls something that was like, okay, like that's somebody else had said that, um, you know, in some way, shape or form, but I, I rarely, rarely ever come up with it. And if I ever do get anything flagged, it's usually like a sentence from like a Wikipedia article that's super generic, but mm-hmm. you know, just, you know, double check before you're publishing anything like that, but it is, it is your content to yeah. produce and copyright. Yeah. I, I, that seems to be about it for questions. I, I think in summary, you know, it's, it's really something you should try and check out. It's going to, you could see that AI is more and more a part of how things are done. You know, mm-hmm. a, we're using AI all the time. Whenever we Google anything, we're using AI, right? Google is using AI to figure out what you mean to give you the results. Netflix is using AI to put, you know, what movies in front of you, mm-hmm. um, more and more of the stuff that you read on the internet is is either generated by AI or it's being used like we're talking about using it here, right? As inspiration to mm-hmm. do certain tasks in a sort of a partnership assistant sort of way. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I really think, I don't think AI is going to replace, you know, really good copywriting or really good content writing. But I do think that people that don't know AI um, and don't use it are kind of going to be left behind, right? By people that that do know how to use that as a tool for what they're doing. Yeah, and I, I think it, it's it gives you an extra edge, you know. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. that if you're not using it, then you're just not tapping into a resource that's like extremely powerful for a lot of different reasons. And the more focused in like like aware of you are of how to use the tool, like, especially in this case, Jasper, um, you can find ways to just say, not only just like save yourself time, but like, you know, like maybe you can take on more projects that you weren't before because you can teach people that you're working with how to use Jasper to help with coming up ideas and and things like that. Or, you know, like a lot, a lot of ways that we're seeing people scale their businesses in so many different ways because like writer's block is no longer a problem in their content production. It's That's it's keeping really up with the ability to produce the content that much faster because they're you're getting you know and I, I, that's how how we've ex- experienced it as well like having growing a small team um, around our own you know content production is like I don't want to necessarily need to write blogs all day right um, or all the time but I can use a process that we've honed and refined and teach not just one person but really you can one person can do the work of ten now um, mm-hmm. in terms of like blogging. Um, and that's really cool to be able to, you know, even like open up and provide new jobs for people is what we're saying. Like whole agencies are being built around producing higher level content powered by AI. You know, the businesses are growing, more jobs are coming in for people that know how to use it. And so um, 
a really cool time we're living in. And uh, we're excited to be here at the forefront of it at the AI author with Jasper um, as well. So uh, David, really appreciate your time today. Um, and everyone here with us live watching the recording, thank you as well. Appreciate all your questions. Um, and if you haven't signed up for Jasper, head on over to davidldewich.com slash Jasper. Get yourself 10,000 free credits. Start your free trial. Give Jasper a spin. Um, and of course, check out what we're doing over at theaiauthor.com, covering the future of publishing with artificial intelligence. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, this has been great. I've learned a ton, um, you know, from this. I, um, whenever I talk with you, I learn more about how to, how to use Jasper. Um, can I tell people where to get a hold of me? If yeah, they yeah. Yeah. Any um, last words that you want, where people find you? Any yeah. Words? Just if, if you want to find me, it's the beginning of the link, you know, for the Jasper thing, it's, uh, David L uh, D E U T S C H David L Uh, you can get in touch with me there or, you know, there's some resources free report on copywriting and, uh, and getting to Jasper is just adding forward slash Jasper at the end of that. That'll get you to the five days free and the 10,000 free credits. Cool. And I know you've got a, a book coming up as well. Is that something? Well, it's actually a offer? course that a course. The book okay. is a part of. Yeah. On, on creativity. Um, and you can uh, sign up to be on the notification list there. If you sign up for the, to get the free report, uh, you'll, you'll get notified when the, uh, when the course comes out, which should be about in a month or two. Awesome. Great. So yeah, so guys, go ahead and over to davidldewich.com, um, opt in for that report. Um, you know, great, great newsletter to be on, like, regardless if you're, if you're any, have any interest at all in copywriting and, and being creative. So um, David, again, thank you so much for your time. Um, this is a real blast. And until next time, everyone, stay safe out there. Cheers.